Hi, Brendan here with another episode of Coach Gee TV. Last night we had an investor coaching session and we had some guests there. I asked the people to tell me what is their biggest struggle when it comes to saving and investing. One woman said to me that one of her biggest issues is she's dealt with a couple of financial planners and she always seems to wind up in the same place. She winds up frustrated, confused, maybe even more worried than, what, than when she started out. So again, it's like, for her, it's like, why bother? And I heard a commercial today, and I, it, it dawned on me that this woman's problem, her, this woman's struggle, if you will, is related to how it is that the investment industry markets itself to people. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, investors are getting what I consider to be a refried version of the same thing. It's like the melody changes, but the song is ultimately the same. And in this particular case, we had one financial advisor come on the radio and he was kind of bad mouthing or putting down, if you will, this other financial advisor's uh, program. This one financial advisor was saying that this online trading school where investors could go to learn to, to trade stocks like pros on Wall Street, they could go there and they would learn what stocks to be in, what stocks to sell, and going forward they would be profitable. Well, again, this guy is saying that this is not a good way to go about it, it's too risky, there's no fiduciary responsibility, etc. What he is promoting, the guy who's complaining about the online trading school, what he is promoting is crash-proof investing. What he's saying is, looking into the future, eventually, inevitably, there's going to be a crash and investors are going to be much better off if they get out of the market. Well, again, here's where this is a refried version of the same thing. This online trading school is talking about being in stocks now so that in the future, when those stocks do well, you profit from them. This guy down here talking about crash-proof investing, he's talking about, well, in the future, the market's going to crash, it's going to tank, so you're going to be better off now if you get out of the market and you're going to be more profitable. Well, in both situations, what they're doing is they're projecting into the future. In, that, in other words, they're speculating. In other words, they're gambling. And here's the thing. Not too many people out there can reliably, consistently predict the future. Matter of fact, nobody can do it. And here's the one thing that investors should know in when it comes to investing. When it comes to the market, only unknowable, unpredictable info plus how people react to it will move the market. So unless you have a crystal ball about what's going to happen tomorrow and how people are going to react to it, speculation or predictions about the future, they're, they're useless. And again, since nobody can do it, if your money is being invested in a fashion whereby somebody has to su successfully predict the future to be right, you're going to come out on the losing end of that stick. So again, the problem for investors is they get a refried version of the same thing over and over and over again, and it's why the results, the disappointing results continue. You'd be much better off if you learned how to stop the gambling and speculation altogether. Thank you.